over and it is the prime time for a common illness that typically affects infants and children under 10. Plus, there's a new study on contact lenses that's uh, proving to be eye-opening. If you will, health reporter Haley Hernandez has health headlines today. Good morning, guys. So the virus that causes hand, foot, and mouth disease does tend to show up more this time of year. Kids often pick it up uh, after spending time with children at, and pl at other places like daycare, camp, and swimming pools. While the disease typically impacts children, anyone really can get it at any age. It is highly contagious through touch, so doctors say proper hand hygiene is key. The best thing that you could do, because this is spread by contact, usually from one person's skin to uh, another person's skin, the best thing to do is always make sure you wash your hands. Washing your hands is the best way to prevent against hand, foot, and mouth disease, as well as a whole host of other types of infections. If a person gets hand, foot, and mouth, it's best to keep them away from others, especially children and places where it can be spread until the fever is gone and the blisters have disappeared. A new study finds your contacts could be bad for the ocean. Researchers at Arizona State University found many contact users dispose of their old lenses by flushing them instead of placing them in the trash can. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't Quit flushing them. Those lenses later end up contributing to pollution in oceans, lakes, and rivers. That's because lenses don't break down completely in sewer systems. Americans use about 14 billion contact lenses every year, resulting in an estimated 50,000 pounds winding up in sinks and toilets.